Have you ever wondered how industrial purification processes work, or why the purer substances are more expensive? Industrial purification is an intriguing science, playing a vital role in creating pure substances crucial to numerous industries. Everything from the food we eat to the fuel in our cars relies on these intricate processes. Two key players in this game are batch and fixed bed column adsorption. Today, we will delve into the secrets of the batch and fixed bed column adsorption processes, two of the most common methods used in industrial purification. First, we turn our attention to the batch adsorption process, a method known for its simplicity and flexibility. Picture this, you have a pot of impure solution. You toss in a handful of adsorbent, which could be anything from activated carbon to zeolites. Now, you let this mixture sit, allowing the impurities to cling onto the adsorbent. This is the essence of the batch adsorption process. It's like a dance where the impurities find their partners in the adsorbent and stick to them. Once the dance is over, you separate the adsorbent, now heavy with impurities, from the solution. Voila, you have a purified solution. The beauty of this process lies in its flexibility. You can adjust the amount of adsorbent, the duration of adsorption, and the concentration of the solution. Plus, it's simple. No complicated machinery or procedures. So the batch process is like a one-pot cooking recipe. Simple, flexible, but may not be the most efficient. Now let's shift our focus to the fixed bed column adsorption process, the marathon runner of purification techniques. This process is quite fascinating. It involves the continuous flow of an impure solution through a column that's packed with adsorbent material. Think of it like a marathon, where the impurities are the runners and the finish line is the clean solution at the end of the column. This method is highly efficient and allows for continuous operation, making it a favorite in industries where constant purification is required. The impure solution keeps flowing, the adsorbent material keeps catching the impurities, and clean solutions keep coming out, a non-stop cycle of purification. However, like a marathon, it's not just about running. It requires careful monitoring to ensure the adsorbent isn't saturated and the column remains effective. So, while it's a workhorse, it requires a vigilant eye. In contrast to the batch process, the fixed bed column is like a conveyor belt, efficient, continuous, but requires careful monitoring. Having understood the workings of both processes, it's time to compare them head to head. The batch adsorption process and the fixed bed column adsorption process, though similar in their ultimate goal of purification, have distinct characteristics that make them suitable for different scenarios. Let's start with the batch process. It shines when it comes to small-scale operations or situations where flexibility is key. Since it involves treating the material in batches, it allows for easy adjustments in between each cycle. This is particularly useful when dealing with varying types or quantities of impurities. On the flip side, the fixed bed column process is a champion of large-scale, continuous operations. As the name suggests, the purification process happens in a fixed setup, allowing for a continuous flow of material. This results in higher efficiency and throughput, making it a preferred choice for industries dealing with large volumes of material. However, it's not all black and white. The batch process, while flexible, requires more hands-on monitoring and frequent intervention. The fixed bed column process, while efficient, can be complex to set up and requires a higher initial investment. In the end, whether to choose batch or fixed bed column adsorption comes down to the specific needs of the operation. Now, when you see a pure substance, you'll appreciate the science and effort that went into its creation.